Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. Ah, good week so far. I hope you're having a good week. Taking it easy. Not uh, not getting stressed about anything. Just uh, enjoying life and doing the bare minimum this week. It's not a vacation, but it's the closest thing I've got right now. So we'll see. We'll see how the rest of the week goes. But so far, so good. Uh, my Wednesday basket pipe. Love this pipe. Uh, enjoying some haunted bookshop. Mm, which is treating me very well today. So I wanted to talk a bit about, I was thinking about someone earlier and uh, had a bit of a revelation. So let, let, me, let me tell you the story. So I, I have a friend, his name is Ed. I should say I had a friend and he's he's still around. I just have not had contact with him in probably about Oh, six or eight years um, and it's not for any reason it's just that my life changed and we did not we, we, were, we weren't friends outside of a particular uh, social setting let me put it that way um, so I met Ed through fly fishing uh, through internet fly fishing forums we were both interested in fly tying and we wound up hanging out at, at fly tying shows, um, things like that. So Ed and I never actually went fishing together. We, we corresponded, uh, we would meet up at these things, you know, maybe have a drink, maybe have lunch, something like that. Um, but we, we, it wasn't like we'd say, Hey, what are you doing this Saturday? We just weren't that kind of friend. And, you know, that's fine. So, I had forgotten something about Ed, which is a really important thing to, to remember about him, and that is that he was, probably still is, a pipe smoker. Now the reason that I hadn't thought of him in that way in a while is that you know, I, I was a pipe smoker too, but we didn't like hang out and smoke pipes. and. Ed was the kind of guy that, um, and I'm assuming this, but he was smoking, I believe, for the nicotine. He probably was a cigarette smoker at some point and switched. Um, I don't smoke for the nicotine. I smoke for the enjoyment. And so when I go to something like a fly fishing show, if I'm just going for the day, I probably have a pipe in the car for the ride home, but I'm not going to carry one around with me because I don't, you know, I don't have any need for it. But Ed was the kind of guy that would, you know, take a break to go outside and smoke a pipe. And, um, yeah, I saw him doing this, and I, I talked to him while he was smoking his pipe and things like that. And as I thought about it today, I realized I don't think I ever saw Ed smoking anything but that one pipe. And I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. It was... It was sort of a prince shape, maybe more of like a a brandy, but it, it wasn't. It was a small, uh, you know, easy to slip in your pocket pipe. It had a little bit of a bend to it, and the bowl was was more rounded than a billiard. Uh, it wasn't a bulldog. So I believe he was a one pipe guy, unless I just got the, you know. The, the odd probability that I would always only see him on the day that he had that pipe, which I guess could happen. Ed was also a one blend guy. You know, I remember asking him, so what kind of tobaccos do you like? And he said, um, I think it was honey vanilla Cavendish was what he said. And I said, oh, do you, you know, do you ever venture outside of aromatics? And he said, no, no, that's, that's what I like. And, you know, I knew him for about two years, and I had gone to a pipe show. I don't remember which one, but it doesn't matter. And they were, this was back when they would give away tobacco. And I walked through the door, and there was <clears throat> somebody from Sutliff with, you know, saying, pick two tins out of this big thing of tobacco that they had. And I looked through, and I didn't really see much that I wanted. I wound up grabbing an aromatic just to try it. I thought, oh, actually, I got Molto, Molto Dolce and this tin of 
a vanilla black Cavendish blend. I don't remember the name of it. <clears throat> and I went on my merry way. Um, I did try the Molto Dolce and thought it was good. And, you know, it's, it's actually a very nice aromatic blend. A bit sweet and goopy, but tasty. And I opened up this vanilla black Cavendish, and it did what most vanilla blends do to me. It just tasted like... So I knew I wasn't going to smoke it, and I remembered Ed saying that he liked this honey vanilla black Cavendish, and I thought, oh, great, I'm going to this fly tying thing next week, and Ed's going to be there. I'll take this along with me and give it to him. And, you know, just being a friend, I got something, maybe you want it. So I, I saw Ed, and we're, we're chatting, and I, I had a bag with me, and I said, hey, I got this for you. And he took it from my hand, and he hands it back to me, and he says, no, I don't want it. And I thought, that, that's kind of weird. And I said, well, you know, you, you said you like the vanilla cabbage. He said, yeah, you don't understand. I go to a tobacconist. They have a house blend that is a honey vanilla Cavendish, and that is the only thing I smoke. And I said, really? You, you, you've never smoked? He said, I've never smoked anything but that blend, and I don't have any interest in smoking anything but that blend. And that was kind of the end of the conversation. And we, we talked about other pipe smokers. I, I didn't know, but he knew a couple of other guys that were pipe smokers. He said, why don't you go give it to this guy? And I think I ultimately did. But, you know, in thinking about that, I, I had never realized this, but Ed was a real codger. You know, he had one pipe, and maybe not, but I think he had one pipe, and he had one blend. One. <laughs> he had one blend. Uh, so those folks are out there still, you know? And I think it's important to recognize that those folks are out there, not just as rare occurrences, but I think there's a lot of them. They're not on YouTube. They're not on Instagram. They're not, look at the latest pipe I bought. Look at this new blend I got. Oh, look, there's a new limited release. No, they're getting up in the morning, they're driving to work with their pipe, maybe they got, maybe they got four, I don't know, and they're smoking their tobacco, which is their tobacco, and that's it, and they're perfectly happy with that. Just like a cigarette smoker will just say, I'm, I'm a Marlboro guy, and that's what I'm going to smoke, and they never will deviate from that. So, I... I think that's important because when, you know, I keep getting into these conversations with folks about the infamous Captain Black Grape. And I keep saying, and other folks say it too, you know, yeah, this it's terrible. I don't know. I've never, I'm not going to smoke it, but it, it sounds terrible. Uh, but they're still making it. And that means it must be selling. You know? um, I think I talked about this in the, my VR to Chad's questions. Um, I'm sorry, my, my VR to Padre Piper, rather. Uh, Lane 1Q is the number one selling bulk tobacco in the world. And it's awful. Uh, Captain Black, the, the original, is the number one selling packaged tobacco in the world. And I think it's... And I smoked Captain Black original. I'm talking about the white label. I don't think it's called original, but the white... I smoked that exclusively for years because I didn't know better. Well, I shouldn't say no better. I just didn't know. Um, and there's a lot of people out there doing that. And we, we should really respect them because that's where the money's coming from in the, in the pipe tobacco industry. And if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't get the special releases. We wouldn't get the haunted bookshops and the... Uh, uh, Union Square and whatever else it is that you happen to, to enjoy because we're a tiny, tiny part of that industry's uh, profit margin. You know, I bet if everybody in the YouTube pipe community and in the Instagram pipe community and the Facebook pipe community, I bet if we all stop smoking today, it would be a little blip on the uh, the tobacco world's radar. And that's both a good and a bad thing because, you know, it, it means that we're not part of this.
full community, but there's not a community. It's just guys out there having a pipe. You know, they're they're not a community. They're just they're just people smoking a pipe, and that's fine. Uh, but the good at it is that there's this solid foundation of pipe smokers that is probably not going to go away, at least not in my lifetime. And hopefully, they continue carrying this industry. Anyway, that's that's a real ramble, but it just I was thinking of Ed this morning for reasons I don't even remember. And I thought you might enjoy hearing a bit about him. <clears throat> All right, so Friday. I'm I'm taking the night off, but there's a guest host, and you gotta see the guest host. So we are gonna have uh, Flat Cap Piper and Lady Fire fill in for me this coming Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. I will put a link below to their video, they, they to, to the live stream. They actually scheduled the live stream today, so I can give you a direct link to it. Go to that link, subscribe, hit the notification button, show up on Friday, and show Flat Cap Piper and Lady Fire the same hospitality and friendliness that you show me every Friday. I would really appreciate it if you do that. And I think you're going to have a great time uh, in, in their live stream. So with that, guys, I'm going to finish this up and then get back to work because it's a busy one this afternoon. Uh, looking forward to uh, relaxing tonight, probably with another pipe. <laughs> Y'all take care. We'll talk soon. Bye now.